Hello fellow 7 Days to Die Gamers, this is Games for Kicks and welcome to episode 4 of my second Let's Play series of, se series of 7 Days to Die. Last episode we found a place to stay. This episode we're gonna have to go and start looting the place. Yeah, we're undetected. Now I just want to remind everybody in case you have to miss the first episode, this is played on survivalist difficulty. Also I have uh, changed some of the settings. Um, to see what I changed and why, please feel free to watch episode 2. Not 1, because 1 went through all the changes or some of the changes of Alpha 10. Feel free to watch episode 2, please. Now, I need to get sorted. Like I said, this is kind of like a raw recording in the sense that I will do everything on camera. So, And if, you, if it gets boring, please tell me. And then I will leave certain parts out. But I don't know what you find boring and what not if you don't tell me. So um, I just leave everything in as much as possible. So what I will do... <coughs> I'll do some storage. I will make a neutral secure storage chest, chest. This is the standard storage chest you use to be able to make an Alpha 9 as well. Now what you notice is that you can also make unique special ones f from ammo, for example, for weapons, explosives, which this is gunpowder, and f uh, food, which is a tin. I, I don't have a tin, I actually converted all my tins into scrap iron, so as soon as I find a tin I can make one for food. Now you can still store whatever the, whatever you want in it. Now this seems to be temporary, so I'm sure these will be removed because uh, people were requesting st uh, unique storage for um, or being able to write on uh, notes or something to put text on the storage box say hey this is what I have in here I have my food in here or whatever and as far as I remember from the blog at the time from Joel's blog um, on tumblr he said oh they, they agree that that should be done and that's something they can do but for the moment they they are reactivating I don't know exactly what they mean by that, I know what they mean by reactivating, but they said they're gonna reactivate the storage boxes that they used to have in some type of horde mode or something, Or so it seems to be a very old type of gameplay maybe they had in a previous uh, uh, version of the game and they had these supply crates and they said they had them there so they just reactivated them for this release, which is actually great. So, But I don't think, because based on that, I don't think that this will be a permanent storage fixture for us to get used to and will probably... Will, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets replaced within Alpha 10 even. So, empty storage, empty storage. I will put my default storage chest <coughs> um, actually on top of it. On No, I will put it um, here beside the window. So this is where I'm going to put everything that I don't really know where to put, to be honest. Um, this is kind of food and plant fiber is for crafting. I need plant fiber probably. Yeah, let's put the scrap iron in here and scrap lead in here. The pipes I need because, yeah, actually I might as well do that now. I want to build a forge if you haven't found a pipe yet if you're in a house destroy the toilet the toilet will give you a pipe um, I haven't come across toilets which didn't drop pipes before so I would be very surprised if um, with left mouse click you can rotate items in case you're a new player there you go now the mold we can put in here and we're one scrap iron short. Can I make a scrap? Nah, okay, I'm gonna have to go my mi not mining. Um. So we put ammunition in here. Nails are actually ammunition. And I put everything else in here. It's a pity you can't like shift left click and then sh shift, uh, shift left click again or something or say control left click to put it up here that would be pretty cool because having to manually pick up everything is, is a big pain in the butt so oh we still have to make some armor actually I think so let's finish our armor we made we what, what do we have still room in 
We still... well, I found boots. I have boots, so I don't need to craft them. Um, just in case I want to replace them, though. I'm not going to craft them, I just wanted the recipe to go green. And... There's something weird with the sound. What is that? Why is the sound so weird? Hmm... Okay, I don't know. No idea. Okay, uh, yeah, I seem to fix the noise now. Sorry about that. Um, let's put the class in here. Animal fat, if you have a po cooking pot, you can make tallow out of it. Tallow you now need to make uh, torches. Torches don't stack anymore. I think I said that last time as well. But let's finish the armor. So... If we go back in here... Let's make a, ha a hoodie. Shift left click moves everything straight in, just remember that. Let's make a chest piece. And let's make some gloves. Excellent. Now we can just click it and onto our character and it will automatically be moved in the right slots here you can see. Now it's not the prettiest to look at but hey you know what this is absolutely more awesome than it used to be so ha I'm happy so let's see we need the empty jars also yes I have to correct myself uh, one of the users on uh, the common channel actually <laughs> pointed the very obvious out to me and I remember saying in episode 2 I think well in the first series in the first episode when I started this new game I was saying that when I went through the weapons I said oh this is awesome you know this is uh, your bleeding effect and I was even wondering saying like oh zombies I thought they were dead why do they bleed um, well I uh, well and I assumed from that point on that this affects actually the zombies but it doesn't so zombies don't bleed and they don't suffer from disease so theoretically you using a barbed club or a spiked club blood ble for the bleeding effect it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever so they both need metal strips to be repaired so you should just we, we repair them fully both and then see which one is stronger and that's the one I will recommend you go with end of story now we need to get wood we have no coal so to burn items to to burn items we will um, need wood is there anybody in the house anybody in the house no but the walls seem to have been attacked so just go to your repair tool hold right mouse click on the wall and repair what has been start attacked then we loot the house Oh, we already looted this. When it says empty cupboard or empty oven, then you looted it. Okay, we have to see who that is and just get rid of them. Okay, come on, guys. What are you doing? Seriously. You're disturbing the peace. Oh, there's some more plants. So let's pick the red ones up as well. You don't really need them there for, for a dying wood. You don't actually make dye. You just dye wood by putting it on the crafting table or in your crafting area with wood. And that way you can craft red wood. Okay, I have to keep looking around actually. Well, I'm not detected, that's good. I will actually stay crouched, you know, why not? Oh, I'm being hunted. Oh, yes, nurse. That's great. Oh, that was a lovely hit. Right on the noggin. Two cars. Let's hope there's a pickaxe or a fire axe in one of them. That would be pretty awesome. Yes, thank you. But I don't need the bone. Sorry, the reason I throw that out is because I have loot respawn turned on. And if I happen to come back to this area, 
there was a notion. I, I was watching one of the other uh, guys' let's play, and they kept saying, "Oh, I empty that so the stuff respawns." I think at some stage back in the few versions, things didn't respawn in containers if there was still an item left in the container. Oh, hello, guys. You're looking for me. Oh, whoa! That was lucky. I really that really caught me off guard there. Nice. We found some feathers. We can make some bows and arrows. This is actually really good. Now we need to get food, so... I actually just realized I didn't make a bed. If I die now, I actually can spawn God knows where. So I want to probably get back into my house. Oh, that wasn't my house. Oh crap, I have no sense of direction. Where was my house? I think it was... I think it was here somewhere. No, I walked around here. What's, uh, I have no sense of directions. I am so awful when it comes to directions. I think this is my house, is it not? Was that my house? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I was coming from here. That was my house. The one with the door wide open. The one that says, come in here, please eat me. I forgot to make a bed. <laughs> Who would have thought? So let's make a bed real quick and place it here so that if we happen to die... Well, we're not making a bed, we're making a sleeping bag, okay? That's what you make a sleeping bag with. Now let's get rid of this, this, and this. Oh! brass. Oh, okay. So a hook cup and a filter actually turn into scrap iron. Oh, I think the guys are through. Whoops. I better place the bag and go downstairs and clear up the mess. Okay. Let's put the sleeping bag there. Now it serves as a place to go home. So you can see on the map now, the little house icon. And that's where we'll respawn. Okay, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I will come down and sort you out now. Are you already in here? Come on, guys, that is rude. So, oh, luckily I turned around. Okay, the big man has to be taken care of with the arrows. Whoa, luckily... Oh, these guys are coming from behind. Not, not funny. Oh. Is there anybody behind me? No. Okay. Whoa! Anybody behind me? Oh, yes! You sneaky mother! Oh, these guys are fast. These naked dudes, they are fast. So keep moving around and keep turning around and looking behind you. No, I have to loot, otherwise these guys disappear. And then I might lose the opportunity of good loot. Ah, oh, why would you hit the grass? Look behind me again, okay. Wow, the noises are freaking me out. It's like, whoa. Oh, no, 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 Oh, oh, I'm nearly dead. Quick, 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 run away, run away. Is there anybody here? Whoa. I can still hear somebody. I am absolutely crapping my pants now. Oh, is there anybody in my house? No. Whoa. That was something else. I'm still being hunted, which is a big pain in the backside, so let's just fix this up quickly. Wow! Fix the door. Oh yes, they actually destroyed the top layer of my door. Bastards! Oh, look at that. Do I have to fix something here? No. <sighs> wow, this was exciting! <laughs> this is really difficult. Oh, look at this. A football helmet. Isn't that cute?
and a purple tank top. Oh, seriously, that's just awesome. Yeah, I don't need the sandwich and I don't need the bone. And oh, a book. Bookshot weekly. Give a man a shotgun shell and he can kill and bloody yada yada. So let's see what we learn from this. Your new recipe unlocks shotgun shells. Sweet. We can make shotgun shells. Okay. Is the helmet stronger? The helmet is... Oh yes, look at that protection. Wow. And this cloth helmet armor is only 10, 10, 10 percent, but the head here is 30, 40, 50. Wow, this was a really nice find. What about the tank top? Yes, the tank top works in connection with the torso top. That is with the other top. That's brilliant. Um, I wonder if you can actually now make cloth out of these again. Now, well, I suppose they have a burn time, so you can use them <laughs> of one second, yeah. So you can burn them. Okay. We need to find medicine. This is not cool. Um, can I make... What can I make out of the yucca plants? Um, yucca. I can make proper bandages. Yucca. Let me see. Yucca. Yucca juice. No, I don't want yucca juice. I want medicine. What is? Let me see. Alloy cream. Aloe cream is aloe plant. Alo alo? Alo aloe aloe plant and these guys. Yeah, go on. Aloe cream and then with aloe cream we can make bandages. Yes, proper bandages. That is lovely. There you go. And these bandages are much better than the other ones because they can actually heal you as well. So you can put them on and they will give you some health back. Now the denim jacket, can I put that on? Yes, look at this, this is awesome. Now I have three items on. My stats should be looking much better now. I have a total of, oh that's average, not the total, okay. So uh, yeah, I'm well protected now. So I've, you see the simple bandage only stops the bleeding. It actually doesn't heal. This one stops the bleeding, which I didn't have, but it also applies a healing effect, which heals me for one every second for a certain time so you can see my red health went up again a little bit so I'm still undetected I need to find some food so I'm gonna have to ransack the neighbor's house I can't believe we nearly got killed that was a close one guys that was really close and I still didn't mine anything or get trees we need trees for fire so we can burn things Okay, he's he's corpsey. What do we have here? Coffee, nice. I'm gonna plant this straight away. Ah, oh, beautiful. Nice. And we also will take those straight away. Now, toilets. Toilets have a very nice little use, and that is to fill up the your bottles, your empty bottles, you just right click on the toilets, create bottled murky water. Don't drink it, you you can get a 50% 50 50 chance of getting dysentery, so, but you need to cook it. Um, okay, we use that for cloth. There you go, that drop cloth. Now. I'm staying mostly crouched. Oh, nice. That is lovely. A 10 millimeter bullet. We don't need this ladder. We can make a new ladder if we need to, so I'm not really too fussed about this ladder right now. Oh, lovely. That's what I wanted. Um, ooh, okay. Um, Bandage stops bleeding though, I don't want to waste it. Well, I can make bandages quite easily actually from a uh, cloth, and we're gonna have enough cloth. So, okay. Wow, I think playing this on survival is, is, is rough. I mean, especially when the. especially when the hordes will start coming. On day seven, I have a feeling I'm gonna die big time because 
If it takes me that long to get water and food, what is that? Red den denim pants. Can I? Can I put them on? I know, I know the graphics are screwed, but oh wow, they're actually better than my plant fiber pants, which is great. So okay, that's good. Oh. I thought they were the same. What is that? One is tungsten and the other one is lead. Oh, okay. So why don't we then move the plant fiber pants in there? Because we don't really need them. Oh, that is great. Okay. Um, yeah, the actually, that plant here, I don't really need it. Books. Very good. I'm gonna take all that back now in a second. I just wanna see what other books are there. Oh, that is lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so let's see. This is the pistol book. Reading this unlocks the pistol slide mold, which is great, so we can make a pistol slide. A pistol receiver mold. pistol barrel mold. So basically all the molds that allow you to um, make a pistol. Now the hunting knife book, you get to learn the recipe of the hunting knife, which is a great weapon. And this one is a repair tool. Yes, a repair tool means we can actually replace this tool here with the next best option. The urban combat book, shotgun. Yes, thank you. We can finally make some items for the shotgun. Now, I will place my pickaxe here. And destroy that. Because I need the scrap iron. So if I take that. Come on, crafting. There you go. Now. Okay. Yeah, I have to empty my loot. I have to empty everything. Okay, now I will put in the weapons crate the weapon repair kit as well. And in the ammo crate the ammo, of course. put my paper and my books here and my eggs as well aloe plant aloe plant yucca plant the coffee yeah I'm gonna have to make use of the coffee very quickly now six scrap iron one two three four five six will result in three will result in one iron ingot so we're gonna make iron ingots out of that now by putting them here they require an amount of 12 now it's a burn time of one to three. If nothing has changed, one wood log burns long enough to cover an amount of 24. If you have a lump of coal, which we don't have anymore because we don't get them from rocks anymore, they cover an amount of five. So in this case, I'm gonna have to... No, oh, probably this should be enough. And we'll see. Okay, now let's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that not how we make that storage? For food? Oh, it has to be over there. Okay. Now. I'm gonna put this with food and drink because you need the golden rod to make some drinks now. I put the flowers here. The feathers I need because I want to make more arrows. Okay, we're gonna quickly go out and get some wood and some rock. Uh, so yeah, some rock for scrap iron, and then come back for 
the night. We still didn't have, we still haven't found any food, which is kind of very frustrating. I'm gonna leave all that here because it's just taking up room and I don't really need it right now. We need that because I'm gonna, you find some more wood anyway. Dirt, I don't need any more in the moment. Okay, yeah, that will do. The torch I leave here as well. Okay, we have the axe. And we have that for the stone, uh, for the... I want to actually make a fire axe, so what I'm gonna do is um, fire axe, because that is good for wood chopping. Sticks, and two iron ingots, lovely. So yeah, actually, that was enough to burn that. Um, fire axe. One, two, three, and... One, two of those. There we go, lovely. Now durability I have a feeling that the barbed wire let me actually just do that for a second this is metal strips that used to repair things the barbed club is 175 so we need 70 so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is fully repaired, and we get the statistics now from for, uh, for it in a second. This one is 200, so 110, so that's 11. Now they're both 100%. The spiked club hits for 40 damage, and the barbed club hits for 30. So. And you can't damage the barbed club. You can't destroy it. You can destroy this first too. But we're gonna keep the spike club then. The barbed club is our backup in case we die, so I'm gonna put it in here. Because remember, we have it set up to lose everything. Okay. So we're just gonna repair the pickaxe with the rest. It's 170, is that about right? 30 and 100. There you go. And stone axe is repaired with small stone. Entity damage, sorry, durability, 119. So 20, that's 30, 130. 130 and that's 30. So 30, 60, 120, yeah, five, okay. Okay, so everything repaired. Whoops. That's the command console or whatever you want to call it. We leave some of them here. Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's put them all in there. We don't need that. So if we die, we always have to make sure we leave only... We leave most of it here. Actually, I can leave all that here. Okay. Yes. And we leave the cloth actually here as well. Now... Let's go and get some oh yeah, let's make some crossbow balls. Why can I only make one? Oh of course, yeah, because I only took one stone with me. There we go. Okay. Remember where my house is, dude. Remember where your house is. So we need we need trees. So let's just go in here and chop the trees. The big ones anyway. And pick up the cotton as well. And remember to keep walking around, making sure that there's nothing sneaking up on you. I can, I'm actually undetected, which is pretty cool. Actually, that's a good trick, like, just keep crouched as you do your thing. There we go. Okay. I think that's plenty for now. That is 23. Because you see, I have to start preparing for. Um, oh, I'm sensed, and I'm probably gonna. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to go across there and get some stones. Oh yes, what is that? Nice. I'm undetected, lovely. Okay, just keep that E button down. Okay, remember that. Because that way you just pick up everything straight away that falls. Now I'm literally running out of food, so that's enough now. My stamina will not really grow that well now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna loot this house. I'm undetected, which is good. Okay, I don't really need the sandwich. Oh, hello! Hi! Um, okay, I let you destroy that and come out to me. I'm gonna pick up this because I can make... E oh! Um, is that better with the pickaxe? Actually, I think the shovel, but I don't have a shovel. Okay, maybe the pickaxe? Yes. Okay. That was a good deal. There's a free scrap iron here. Okay, that was stupid. I'm gonna help you, okay, to destroy this because you're really slow. Okay, maybe we should just switch to our... There we go. End of story. End of Jack and Nori. Now this episode is a bit longer because I, I probably will leave these episodes a little longer than usual because at that difficult... Oh yes! At that difficult level, it actually is uh, quite difficult to make any interesting um, episodes. Nice. Is there anything else of interest? So, what the plan is anyway is to get a little bit stocked up on food, maybe find some wild animals. Um, coffee, good. Start um, straight away coffee farming because coffee is the essence for good stamina. Coffee builds stamina. We don't need the cloth boots, we don't need the denim pants. That is good. That's always good for fire. <clears throat> if you have room, take the pictures. They're a very good source of glass. And glass makes... Um, glass uh, makes a good source for uh, jars. Come on, come on. Why is this? I'm thirsty. Okay. Let's drink something then. Oh, it actually said now I'm thirsty, which basically you are thirsty. And that causes me then my health to drop, probably. So. Okay. I'm actually going to have to call it a day, because otherwise this episode is dragging on for quite a bit. So, in this episode, we found no food, but we actually found some good tools. We made some good tools. Uh, we learned about different storage containers, and we made them. We found some books to craft some nice recipes, so if we get lucky, we can actually make a shotgun now. And... We also started looting, and probably in the next episode I will finish looting this house, and the next house. Wow. Oh, look at this! Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, join me next time, when I'm looting this crate, and the rest of the house, and possibly the house across the street for ni before nightfall, and um, see if we find anything interesting in there. So until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode. 
and you find this looting, these loot runs and me getting nearly killed interesting, if not, let me know so I know what to change. If you did, please let me know as well. Leave comments so I know better what you're interested in. Okay? Until then, this is Games for Kicks and happy gaming.